In this video, I wanted to talk a little about the Sherbrooke city and University of Sherbrooke based on my experience here. If you search on the internet, you can find a lot of documents that they are in French language. So I thought it's better to share this uh, experience based on the English language. So uh, let's go to talk it. At first I should sit and we will continue. Let's go. I lived there for one year, so I think I can talk a little about the advantages and the drawbacks of the city. I don't want to tell that which city is the best or compare this city with others because I think every place has its unique features. But uh, I wanted to just share the experience and you can consider that the city or this university is appropriate for your life or not. At first, I wanted to talk a little about the Sherbrooke city. Sherbrooke is a city in southern Quebec province of Canada and is located at the confluence of two rivers, Saint Francois and Magog River. Sherbrooke is capital of uh, Eastern Township, uh, or they called it the Queens of Est Eastern, Eastern Township, or Lestrie. Uh, and uh, Sherbrooke, uh, with its uh, around cities, is the fourth largest metropolitan area. Based on the population of the Canada, it's the sixth uh, city uh, based on ranking. Uh, as I told, uh, the Sherbrooke uh, is located at the confluence of two rivers, so you can consider that this city uh, has a great nature with the rivers, with the uh, 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 mountain, and something like that. About the location, the situation of Sherbrooke city is really good. It's near to Montreal. Uh, Quebec City and Vermont. Vermont is a uh, small city in the US border. About the weather, Sherbrooke is a humid city and uh, the duration of the winter and the summer here is long but the spring and autumn is short. In my opinion, uh, the fall here is so beautiful because you can find the unique colors. Uh, however, it's really short and you should be really quick about this time. Okay, come to talk a little about the main factors of a city that we should consider when we wanted to choose a city for living or education. The first factor is the cost of living. About the cost of living, absolutely the Sherbrooke city is one of the cheapest city, not only in the Quebec province, but also in all Canada. I think this city is really good choice for international students, especially, who wanted to start the living there with uh, reasonable prices and living expenses. The prices of the rents uh, and uh, many things in the city is really cheap so uh, it's really good choice and in this point the Sherbrooke is really advantageous. The second factor that is important is culture. About the culture here mainly there are the uh, originally Quebecois, so I mean they, they come from Quebec and uh, as we can imagine their mother tongue is French and more than 90% of people here speak French but when you enter this city as international students don't worry uh, because at the first months it's not very hard for you to communicate in English because all people here can communicate or mainly of them can communicate very well and they are really kind and uh, hosted about the internationals however in the lunch term you must learn the French because you live in the Quebec and you should respect this culture here you can find other nationality and languages like Chinese, uh, India, Arabic, Persian and something like that. About the school and education, absolutely the Sherbrooke city is one of the cities that uh, the education and universities really highlighted. There are eight institutes for students but mainly you can find the University of Sherbrooke and Bishop's University. The University of Sherbrooke is French language university that all the courses are in the French and another university is Bishops that is a, one of the English uh, language universities in Quebec so you can choose between one of them you wanted and many students from the other countries start their living and education in this uh, city so you have a lot of choices and uh, in my opinion 
Sherbrooke is one of the cities with great culture of the education. The other factor is outdoor and entertainment. About the outdoor and entertainment, uh, if I want to tell my experience, the, especially the summer here is so beautiful. I think the Quebec has a really great nature for the summer. So I think for the outdoor inter entertainment, you have not really limited to go out with your friends, with your family around, because there are a lot of small city and villages around the Sherbrooke and the Quebec province and that you can go and especially in the weekends and have a great times. And uh, for the winter, there are a lot of sports and entertainment that you can find, uh, not exactly in the Sherbrooke, but around in Montreal or other places. So don't worry about this factor here. Uh, the next factor that you should consider is job opportunity. Uh, if we wanted to be honest, the largest employment section in the Sherbrooke is the University of Sherbrooke. So about the job opportunity, I cannot tell you that it's really uh, good for people, especially after they study here. So if you wanted to choose a city with a great opportunity, maybe the Sherbrooke is not uh, very good for you. Uh, however, uh, we cannot deny that there are many uh, general jobs for students who wanted to have a part-time job. So for international students, maybe it's really easier to find general jobs here as a part-time, but for the work permit that wanted to have full-time, maybe it's a little hard, especially you need to know both the English and French. Uh, all in all, if you your, your language is not very good, so maybe for a full-time job you have uh, a little problem at the first step. But if you learn the French, absolutely, it will be easier for you. The next factor is traffic and ease of transportation. In the Sherbrooke, in the, inside the city, uh, there is a STS bus for the, for the uh, city that you can use it. And if you are a student, it's, it's enough, of the University of Sherbrooke is for free for you with your student card and you can use it unlimited during the, your student here. And based on the things that we told, uh, and I forget to tell at first, the Sherbrooke is not a big city, so uh, it's a small city. And we can imagine that the, the, you cannot find a traffic jam here. And so the life is not very fast. For people who like a peaceful area with a really uh, low uh, level of the traffic, Sherbrooke is the best choice. And uh, about the transportation with the bus inside the city, beside the cars and or bicycle, I think it, it's good. It's good point, and you cannot find many drawbacks. Uh, and the students really easy use uh, the bus during the winter, during the summer, because the buses are a lot here, and they cover all the city. And for going to Montreal, there are uh, besides the ride share. You can find a, a special bus uh, and, and many people use it or for, for other places. So uh, transportation is not a really challenging situation in Sherbrooke, especially if you are a student and inside the city, absolutely is free for you and you can use your card for unlimited using of the transportation. Uh, about the airport accessibility, that is maybe an important factor. I can tell that uh, in this inside the Sherbrooke from 2010, there is not any airport, but before that it was. For people who wanted to go other places in Canada or other countries, they should go to Montreal the, and use the international airport of the Montreal. And uh, for going to Montreal, as I told in the previous factors, you can use uh, a special bus, you can use the rideshare or Aeronavit or other places. That Aeronavit is a uh, shuttle-based uh, uh, transportation that you, many people use it. Uh, other factor that is very important in my opinion is the crime rate. Without any doubt, uh, the crime rate here is really low. So for people that are uh, very sensitive about this factor, uh, this place is really great because uh, you cannot find any uh, harsh activity or crime rate or theft and something like that. So uh, this factor is uh, 
really important and I think uh, Vishal Brook is great in this factor so, and uh, you can you cannot find any uh, high level of crime so don't worry about this factor if you wanted to choose this city uh, other factor that is so important but I cannot tell a lot a story about it is accessibility to healthcare uh, absolutely in the Sherbrooke there are hospitals and places for you for your dental for other uh, sickness but uh, if we wanted to tell that it's good or bad we should consider the health care of the Quebec and Canada so I cannot tell him a lot thing about it and I don't want to go in detail for the people who are students here uh, they are uh, they have the insurance of the university so this insurance cover many things here for dental for eyes for other sickness so uh, don't worry you can use it uh, and I think it's not perfect, but it's cover many things. Finally, I wanted to talk a little about the University of Sherbrooke. I cannot go in detail about each field because absolutely uh, I just have uh, experience in uh, my field, robotics. But totally, the, based on my, my own experience and the things that uh, my friends from other places told me, the atmosphere of the University of Sherbrooke is really nice and if you study to many places you can find very easily that this place is really good choice for international students because mainly people here like to uh, help you and to uh, accelerate your learning situation the thing that you should consider for master or bachelor is that uh, it's a French language uh, university so all courses are in French if you wanted to study in these levels you should uh, know French and you should uh, prepare a certificate of French if you are not from the French language uh, countries. But in the PhD, uh, many, uh, almost all the fields, you don't need the French. So you can come with the English language like us and start here and during your education, you can learn the French. So if you are PhD or postdoc, don't worry, but about the master or bachelor, you should learn the French and absolutely this French language. About the equipment and laboratories, in my opinion, in my opinion it's really decent university and you can find very easily uh, many equipment here that uh, help you to research, to work, to learn and many things like that. Uh, as I work in the robotics, I should uh, mention other things and in future I will uh, make uh, other video that uh, there are some buildings outside the campus in the name of the CTA, uh, Trite, Trite, and, uh, uh, and another building in the name of Petri. These buildings uh, are located outside campus for some field like robotics. And uh, I will make an, a video, a short video about the Trite and show you how is the building. In this building, you can find many fields related to new technology and uh, all laboratory located in this uh, building. We reached to the final section of this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's really useful for you. If you have any experience in this regard, please share in comments, or tell me. I will be so glad. Maybe I ignore many points and uh, maybe in future I put an update about my experience here. Uh, Overall, during this one year that I live there, I really like this city and especially this university. So uh, for people who are okay with the main factors, I suggest them to come here. Uh, thank you very much, thank you very much and it's really cold so I should go home. Have a good night and good day.